I picked my warden, my ransom rigs, we tried. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with another book haul. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I found at the thrift store, I was like shook because it's newly released and like I've never seen the fourth book in the series in the thrift store. But it is Map of Days by Ransom Riggs and this is the fourth and final book I believe in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I read the first book. I have number two and number three and now I have number four. So this just means it is time to binge read this entire series and it's like literally in perfect condition. So like I'm super excited about it. Oh, it's real pretty too. I never looked under the cover, but me likes. Now we can't get the dust jacket back on, obviously. The next book that I have, I've seen a few people talk about it. It was more popular when it first came out on booktube in like 2015, I think, maybe 2016. I don't remember. It is Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini and it follows this girl named Lily who's like allergic to basically everything in the whole world and then she goes to this party and something embarrassing happens and then she is transported to this new alternate universe where she meets Lillian who is that world's version of her and she's like totally badass so it's like her being like what I can be totally badass too and it's like that story and she falls in love so there's that too but I'm intrigued I want to know how kick-ass Lillian is. That's why I picked up the book, to be honest. Lillian sounds like a badass. The next book I bought was because I've seen the cover around. Honestly, didn't know that much about it. Now that I read the synopsis, I'm like, E might be good, might be bad, we don't know, but it's My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wagna, and it follows these two teenagers who make a suicide pact, and then the girl doesn't know if she wants to follow through, and it's like the story of them like falling in love because she wants to like live so that they can have their chemistry together, you know? I don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna read it because we bought it. And we'll let you know what we thought of it when it's over. The next book I'm excited about solely because fairy tale retelling is Towering by Alex Flynn. I read Beastly, loved it so much. Read another book by her, hated it so much. It was a Sleeping Beauty retelling. I think it was called Timeless. Honestly, I can't remember, but like I did not like that. Beastly, heck yes, 100% one of my favorite books. This one is a Rapunzel retelling. I'm hoping that I like it better than Timeless and maybe as much as I liked Beastly. I guess we'll see but I am ready for it. And then the final book that I picked up is Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry and this follows a girl whose father is part of like the most notorious biker gang and he like abandoned her when she was little and then they meet up again and she spends the summer with him and then she meets a boy named Oz who wants to be part of this gang and her dad asked him to like protect her from the rival gang and then he's like yo I'ma do that and then I can be part of the gang and his dad's like we'll see that kind of thing but then they fall in love. Cute contemporary. Ta-da! Alright you guys that was my haul for today. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!